Hi, I'm John. And I'm Janan. We're from Build Direct, and we're here to show you how to install a deck in the box. Let's face it, when it comes to outdoor renovations, a deck can be a tough nut to crack. It hurts even thinking about all the steps between pulling out your tape measure and enjoying your first barbecue. But rest easy. The innovative packaging, material, and design of Contiki's Deck in a Box make deck building a snap. Made from resilient, hard-wearing composite, these tiles are delivered right to your door, ready to go. No sanding, painting, or staining required. In this video, we'll show you how to install your very own Deck in a Box. This is the Contiki Deck in a Box. It comes with four timbers, three grids, 16 clips, and covers 4.32 square feet. Here we have the walnut cover. These are your four planks. The planks come shrink-wrapped to prevent any in-transit damage. Here we have the grids. Here are the 16 clips. So when you open up the grids in the package, you'll also see the spacers and four other pieces that will prevent the boards from sliding apart. There's a full complete instruction guide for you, which you can look through as to how to properly put it together. We got a minimum amount of tools here. Uh, we might need to use a utility knife. Uh, we might need to break out a uh, handsaw. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I'm pretty sure that your, uh, your kitchen uh, toolbox uh, has got enough tools to put this down. Before you start, remember to ensure that you're working on an appropriately sloped and well-drained surface. Traditional composite needs to have uh, a minimum air space underneath it to allow for appropriate drainage. Uh, this product is designed to integrate that minimum air space in it so that you don't have to worry about any water infiltration or any issues arising from uh, long-term exposure to standing water. Unlike other outdoor products, the Deck in the Box system has an easy three-step installation. First, lay the grids on a flat, solid surface. Next, insert the provided accessories. Finally, snap the planks into place and you're good to go. Laying out the grid is easy. Just lay them down and snap them together. Once you get them out of the box, it'll make perfect sense. Once you lay your grid out, your decking will just follow suit. So basically take a single U-clip in the same direction of the decking the board is going to fit into the groove that way and you just want to place it right on the grid like that. So those four holes yeah. will fit into these four holes right here. The great thing about the deck in the box is that it's self-spacing. You don't have to worry about maintaining a proper and consistent gap from board to board. The system does it for you. So you're going to want to run the U-clips perpendicular because the boards will clip right into them. What we're creating underneath is enough of a space for water to drain so that we can maintain the existing drainage plane of the deck. You're going to find some of the clips are wider than others. So you'll find the double wides and the single wides. The double wides are used in situations where you need to, to put two grids together, otherwise the single wides will hold the plank together fine. So you want to put the double wides in a situation like this where you're just gripping two of the grids together. The system is so user-friendly, very difficult to mess it up. Just make sure that you're using all the, the clips that are included in the system and you'll have enough so that you won't have any movement on your, uh, on your deck boards. Included in the kit you're going to find some uh, slip resistors and a little spacer. The slip resistors install directly into the clip like this. And you just want to take these little things and slide them in here. It'll be obvious what they're for once we install the plank. So the spacer is just used to make sure that there's a minimum gap between your planks. So what we want to do to get we get the planks in. So we just want to make sure, because the one plank is going to be running perpendicular to the other plank, we just want to make sure that we're well aligned with the line of boards there. Once these things go into the grid, you just want to tap them back a little bit just to get them aligned properly. You'll be able to space them out a little better once it's actually snapped down in the grid. So just take your plank, and just snap it right into place. 
minimum amount of pressure. And then what we'll do, we'll go to the back side here. You want to use the included spacer just to make sure that you've got enough space there. Just use a hammer and tap the boards in just so that they've got enough space. So we're just going to take these and just snap them in by hand. Again, everything that you need to put this together is included in the box. Save a little bit of elbow grease and maybe a utility knife. The decks are so easy to install. I've been installing them myself. You can use your feet too. So here we are a little bit later, we got a beautiful deck installed, it didn't take us much time at all and we're ready to use it same day. Doesn't need any sanding, staining or finishing, it's ready to go right out of the box. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about Deck in the Box or any other products, please let us know at BuildDirect.com.